What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Ezeru, and I'm back again with another one. I need you guys to do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. That notification icon for more videos like this. That being said, let's get into it. So, Leonard Ellaby shuts down a potential tennis Crawford versus um, Gervonta Tank Davis fight. Uh, this is what Leonard Ellaby had to say. He says, y'all need to stop with this dumbass narrative. Someone took a quote, but left out the ending. Um, when he said, when he said that he was joking, y'all ran with it for a headline. Tank is a effing 135 pound, pound, pounder. Why the F would he be trying to move to 147 to fight him? It's just dumb and stupid. Damn, he wouldn't even mention, mention Terrence Crawford's name. He said to fight him. Come on, you got to mention the man's name. And you got to tag him too. But anyway, um. A lot of fans seen that and attack Leonard Ellaby because it's kind of hypocrisy. And as you can see in the picture right there, CEO of Mayweather Promotion, TMT, the money team, uh, Floyd Mayweather said he was open to making this fight. Javante said he wanted that fight as well when he was asked about that fight before the Ryan Garcia fight. Um, Bob. But Bob Aram shut that fight down. Just how Leonard Ellaby just shut down Javante versus Terrence Crawford fight down. It's crazy how Javante team wants him to be in the position where he just controls everything on the chessboard, meaning that he can have a guy move up two weight classes to fight him, but he can't move up two weight classes to fight another guy. It just don't make any sense. The thing is, Javante just needs better PR team where he's not out here saying anything that pops to his mind just to say it. I told you guys I got a list of boxers that I put on this list. It's called... The delusional list. A lot of boxers live in that delusional reality that I need to put them on that list. The reason why I say delusional, because they say stuff maybe they believe, but they shouldn't believe because I feel like they should know better because they're boxers. And they say stuff pertaining to boxing that don't make sense. You understand what I'm saying? When you listen to some things these guys say, you start scratching your head. Maybe they're supposed to say that because every boxer is supposed to be overconfident. But sometimes reality has to set in. It's like Crawford saying, I can knock out... Uh, Tyson Fury or Arthur better be if. It's like Crawford saying something like that. He can knock out Arthur better be if. It's like, you know, you got to know your limit. That's what I'm saying. You understand? He could probably hold a good account of himself, but knock him out would be a stretch, you know, I don't know, but anything can happen, any clean shot on somebody can knock them out, you only need, what, 10 pounds of pressure, I mean, it is what it is, you're supposed to be overconfident as a boxer, but as a professional boxer, you have to be in reality, you can't just say random stuff, you know, it just don't, it won't sit well with the hardcore boxing fans. So, for example, Javante saying he would knock out Bud in six rounds. That's delusional. That's being delusional. You know? Now, Leonard Ellenby is trying to play the victim. You can't play the victim after your fighter goes out his way to say something crazy. The fans are just reacting to what your fighter said. So, if anything, you're not supposed to be mad at the fans. You're supposed to be mad at your fighter, Javante Davis, right? 
Leonard Ellaby is supposed to want to check Javante Davis. Instead of checking Javante Davis, he's trying to check the public. Right? Now, in new way, he never said he wanted to fight Javante Davis. The media brought that fight up. The media said that. And Javante said, yeah, why not? He know why he want to fight a guy like that. He would have the advantages. So, of course, he'll want to fight that guy. Of course. And it's a huge fight. He has the advantages, and it's a huge fight. He knows it's a winnable fight for sure. And, of course, he's going to jump on an opportunity like that. So, it's just ridiculous, you know. I feel like Leonard Ellaby, um, he's directing his energy to the wrong people. He needs to direct his energy to uh, Javante Davis. If he's Javante Davis' handler or PR, he needs to uh, get on Javante. Maybe Javante don't listen to them no more, but the kid just says whatever he wants to say. The guy just says whatever he wants to say. So if he's going to say something like that, the boxing public is going to want him to stand on it. You're going to say, because you're going to say, you're going to knock out the best pound for pound fight in the world. You need to stand on what you say. You know, it's like, you know, people are going to treat boxing like the street sometimes. Because a lot of people that watch boxing is from the streets. You know? If you say something, you have to stand on it. Everybody's going to hold you accountable for what you said. You can't be walking around the hood talking about you're going to knock somebody out. You're going to have to stand on that. They're going to have to put you to the test. If you say something, you got to stand on what you say. You're definitely going to be put to the test. And you got to have some heart. Because if you say something like that, they're going to come for you. Somebody going to come for you. Somebody going to put you to the test. But um, anyway, Javante Davis is in the category of the delusional boxers in the sport of boxing when it comes to boxing. There's a few more guys that I put in that list. I put Jerron Ennis in that list as well. Keith Thurman, of course. There's a few of them. The list is long, guys. But yeah, guys, do me a favor. Earl Spence as well. Do me a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe button for more videos like this.